Okay, so today I'm feeling inspired, so I'm going to do two exponential questions at once. First an easier one, on the left, and then I already started to solve it here. And um, this one on the right, which is slightly harder. So the first one, 2 to the power of x minus 1 equals 8. Um, okay, well, if we recognize that 8 is actually 2 to the power of 3, that make th makes things a lot easier. Look at that. So yeah, 8 is 2 to the power of 3, so we can do that. So I just rewrote 2 to the power of x minus 1 right down here and made it equal to 2 to the power of 3. Now, since we have equal bases, we can actually basically get rid of them and assume that x minus 1 is equal to 3. And that would be correct. So x minus 1 is equal to 3. Then, easy algebra, we can just add 1 to both sides, and x is going to be equal to 4. That's it. We're done. Now, on the right side. 9 to the power of 2 x minus 1 equals 27 to the power of x. That's an x there. Okay. Now it's better if we can actually make uh, both of these guys um, with the same exponent, with the, or rather the same base. And that base will be 3. 9 is actually 3 squared. So I can write 3 squared here and actually put it to the power of 2x minus 1. It stays there for now. Oh, that does not look like a 1, so I'm going to rewrite it. There we go. Okay. And 27 is 3 cubed. Um, I can put it in brackets. That's an ugly bracket. And there's the x still hanging out here outside. That one. Here. So now what happens is that we can actually multiply the 2 by the 2x minus 1 as if there were little brackets around the 2x minus 1 and expand it and same thing here we can multiply the 3 by x and we get 3x so 3 to the power of 3x here oh, I'm running out of room there here I can expand and make this 4 x minus 2 because I just distributed 2 times 2x, 4x, 2 times negative 1, negative 2 is equal to 3x. Then just becomes a basic algebra question. I can take this to the left side, so 4x minus 3x oops, oh, I can't write properly today equals, and I can add 2 to both sides, so I can take this 2 to the left, or rather to the right, because it was already on the left, 2, and 4x minus 3x is x, x is equal to 2, and that's the answer to this question on the right. That's it.